I wouldn't personally um, try and rewire my house. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I just wouldn't do it because everybody's got their skill and he would need to do it. Um, I would pay someone to do that. Absolutely. Um, and it's not. I mean, I'm sure, I mean, everybody costs differently, but um, the investment that you spend um, on getting somebody in who can look at your specific space, assess it, and then give you information to transform it, reimagine it, um, help build it. When you think about how much you're going to spend on it, it's such a small percentage of what you will spend. So we were talking before this interview and we were, you told me how you are big on nature, you know, wood, mm. raffia, those kind of things. And you are neutral, a neutral palette works for you, but yes. you can also work very well with color. Yes. So how does that happen? So, you know, I do a lot of spaces that um, people ask that they, they, they just want a, a more of a timeless look mm -hmm. um, or a classic look. And there are variations on that as well. But that it, it really depends on their budget, how much they want to spend, how much they actually want to do. Do they want to paint? Is there renovation involved? Or what's their current furniture like? But a neutral palette is, um, is, is, is timeless. Mm -hmm. It is classic. You know, you've got whites, creams, beautiful, rich woods, um, uh, um, stones, those sorts of materials that really help bring in and soften a space. So even though a stone is um, is a hard material, you then would add beautiful woolen rugs yeah. or or um, raff, you know, jute or yeah. um, hessian, all, all those sorts of things. I don't have one particular style, mm -hmm. and I think that that's. That's a, that's a necessity. I mean, mm -hmm. people come to me for, um, uh, you know, to, to help them create something new, mm -hmm. but also they sort of have seen some of the stuff I've done mm -hmm. and they like it, but they want to put their own stamp on it. Absolutely. And that's my job to say, hey, have you thought about this wild, you know, wallpaper to add some beautiful quirkiness to a room, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's all those sorts of things. And I love that. I love that one. This one and that one. Too. Oh, this yeah. is this is actually this is wallpaper. La Croix. Uh, <laughs> Christian, Christian La Croix. Christian La Croix. <laughs> I thought of as course much. you like I it. Thought yeah. as much. <laughs> you know, and this one is just so beautiful. We nearly used this in a in a room for a client recently, which yeah. I don't know if you can see that. That's the whole piece as a whole. Yeah. We might be using this in So just a feature, a feature wall. Yeah, kind of one feature thing. wall and it could be just as simple as that. It, it doesn't have to be about, um, for me anyway, I don't sort of go into a project and try and say, yes, let's use everything and, <laughs> I, and it's max, you know, it, yeah. it's not about that. It's really about, for me, working with clients, I love being able to help them reimagine their space. Absolutely. And bring out you know yeah. their thoughts their ideas correct. because and at the end them. of the day they have it's to live their there. house yeah. correct well yeah. it's their home and, and, yeah. and i think that's what i really love to be able to do in particular even over commercial work is is actually helping people create a home yep. as opposed to well a house said. that that photographs up beautifully like we've mm. we see those all yeah, the time that, yeah. but you have to live there absolutely and and, and if you can't Enjoy living there. Exactly. And everybody, you know, has stuff. You know, yeah, there's always junk and stuff and whatever. <laughs> and and so much. <laughs> exactly, especially when you've got children. So um, my job is about coming at it with practical ideas as well. Not just, sure. you know, every there's nothing on show because that doesn't really make sense. Um, unless that is your literal aesthetic and we can do that too, but you know, m most homes I have, I know of, there's stuff. And so I can then help them um, 
have a place, have a home for everything that still looks beautiful and ties in with your look. And then get rid of that whatever doesn't work. Correct. I personally feel that with work from home becoming a norm, we need to have a home, a space where mm -hmm. we can live and work. It's becoming so important yes. for all of us to yeah. have a space, as you said, where we can live, we are comfortable, mm. we can spend time with family and friends yeah. and that's why interior design is becoming so important. It yeah. is, it is. And yeah. look, I've always worked from home, so yeah. I've always made it my business to have a space that I actually feel comfortable working in, that, sure. that inspires me as well. So sure. that was... You know, that was yeah. for forever. Yeah. I get a lot of projects now that um, uh, are about setting up a workspace in your home space mm. that you can still kind of keep separate. Yes. Um, and so your office kind of feels more homey and there's more of a relaxed feel about things. Yeah. yeah. And it's not just about putting a desk in, I don't think. Yeah. It, for me, it's not. It's yeah, um, lots of other factors. Creating, building up the whole story. Correct. Now, Tony, the problem is well, the moment I mention interior designer, my clients, my friends, my family, they'd say, oh, no, 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 it's expensive. Um, we cannot afford to have a, an interior designer. Hiring an, an inter interior designer mm. can get expensive. Mm. Mm. Which is such a misconception because if, some, if you are getting someone to do the right things for you, in my opinion, we are actually saving money rather than some watched, watched up DIY kind of uh, that, that's uh, right. uh, styling or non-styling. That that's, that's right. Okay. And, yeah, sorry, I'm cutting you off this. No, 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 sorry. no that's okay. Um, you are so right. Yeah. It happens all the time. And I think it happened when, so I, um, you know, as you know, I, I also do um, mm. personal styling. Mm -hmm. And that's the misconception as well, that you mm. can't, people can't afford to have someone who knows their staff come in and help them for mm. a certain amount of time. Um, and it's just not true because in the long run, it saves you time and money because everybody has their own skill. And I, I always sort of say, um, I wouldn't personally um, try and rewire my house. Mm -hmm, exactly. <laughs> I just wouldn't do it because everybody's got their skill and he would need to do it. Um, I would pay someone to do that. Absolutely. Um, and it's not. I mean, I'm sure, I mean, everybody costs differently, but um, the investment that you spend um, on getting somebody in who can look at your specific space, assess it, and then give you information to transform it, reimagine it, um, help build it. When you think about how much you're going to spend on it, it's such a small percentage of what you will spend. And if you select those wrong colours, if you get the wrong mm -hmm. white, or if you get the wrong materials that don't work together, mm -hmm. um, or um, you, you're off buying furniture that doesn't fit, it's still too big for the room, or whatever it might be, mm -hmm. that's wasted money. That's Absolutely. your wasted hard-earned money. Absolutely. Whereas um, getting in somebody who actually knows what they're doing, yeah. who does it all the time, we literally do it all the time. Absolutely. That's... We're looking at things online, we're looking at new trends, we're looking at products all the time. And you know, we look at, at a space with your budget in mind, and then I always work backwards and go, okay, what is the best way I can fix this? How can I reimagine this? And whether they engage me to do the job, and that's a separate quote, or whether I impart all of the knowledge I have, all of the suppliers' names, you know, exactly what they need to Better do, and, to then, and then they do it, mm -hmm. that's far more... Um, cost-effective. It's far more cost-effective, effective, and um, it saves them. So they just don't have all this, this willy-nilly kind of um, look and feel and furniture that they think... And I often, it's interesting because uh, I often turn up after someone has bought a couch mm -hmm. and it's too big for the space mm -hmm. and they say, oh, 
We're happy what to get do? rid of it. What are we going to do? And I say, well, it's too big for this space. You should have <laughs> called me before and I could have told you. Yeah. Um, but, you know, we work with that. You have different plans available, so you can just give a consultation, a blueprint, you have, you, you can tell them where to go because if you end up at a dodgy supplier and you place, a, place an order with an advance, nothing happens, then that's money lost, isn't it? That's right. Yeah. Um, I guess the thing is as well, we also um, get trade discounts yeah. at, at, at many places. Absolutely. Um, so, and this is sort of, and I'm sure all businesses are like this now, and we have to move and change constantly. You know, our businesses never stay the same. We mm -hmm. have to evolve and adapt. we have to adapt and, and continue getting better mm -hmm. um, at what we do and look at things differently. I don't mm -hmm. sort of, probably exactly like you, I don't ever sit back and rest on my laurels or think, yep, that's mm -hmm. how I've done it forever and this is who I use forever. You know, mm -hmm. I have to keep changing mm -hmm. um, and um, readjusting my focus. Hmm. And so um, I'd always sort of, you know, done a lot of the work or the jobs, the projects myself. There was a real want and a need for people to to get all that perfect, you know, that that that, that valuable information, including mm -hmm. suppliers, and then interpret that and do it themselves. Yeah, you know, yep. that's something that really changed. That, um, and so I had to sort of work out how can I give as much information as I can, mm. Mm. good information, um, and that's how these consultations evolved. Mm -hmm. um, and the consultations that I do now are um, two hours for the consult, but I, we also work together beforehand on mm -hmm. the phone, mm -hmm. and they also have the opportunity to send me photos and videos and floor plans. Mm -hmm. So I spend, you know, a good 45 minutes beforehand to an hour. Your research. Researching. Um, literally writing up and drawing over plans, mm -hmm. having a look at their room and saying, okay, we can move that, we do that, we do that. Mm -hmm. You know, looking at what, looking at their Pinterest boards. They mm -hmm. literally send me a link to it, their Pinterest boards. And so we can, we can, I've already got that clear in my head about what to do. So mm -hmm. by the time I have the consult, I'm good to go. And that always hasn't been the case, mm -hmm. but this is what really works now. And, and I'm finding a lot of clients um, loving that service. Mm -hmm. um, I'm doing um, a job um, in Yarrawonga. Oh wow. I know, via video. <laughs> and we've done the same thing. Um, and it's, it's, you know, what works for my clients. So we do that and then I get those clients that after the consult they decide that's great. Mm -hmm. But I've still got no time to do it. Here you go Tony, cost it up and you do it. Mm -hmm. And that happens as well. Yep. Um, and then I've got clients that say, okay, we'll do that part of it because mm -hmm. we've got our own trades, but can you pull together these sorts of things yes. so it works? And I guess we can do that. Just the blueprint, the layout. Yeah, just the hard material specification document or just a mood board yeah. Yeah. Um, or just a floor plan. So everything is so tailored and it has to be there is no package there is no one way because yes. of the, the the really sort of um the, the types of clients and jobs and people that come to me everything's different i mean you know one of the jobs i'm working on now is a a, a luxury custom build yeah, you told me it's a big project it's huge so it's a three level um well, luxury custom build home, you know, yep. it's huge. So I'm working with their builder, their architect, and working very closely with the client. They've employed me. So I'm then coming up with the plan to um, work up the look and feel and design of mm -hmm. the inside. Mm -hmm. So all of these sorts of materials. So it, it it's cohesive mm -hmm. everywhere you go in the home on every level. Um, we're also doing the external finishes as well, so, right. which is amazing because this home you see so much of the outside. It's a, it's part of the inside, so it's almost like an extension a of flow, a uh, continuous yeah, flow. Continuous flow. So I'm working with a really amazing woman who is a landscape designer, mm -hmm. um, and we're working on that outside together. 
um, and then eventually once it gets built, it starts getting up off the ground, we'll then start um, selecting furnishings as well around that and style it at the end. So it's a long project, but you know, then I'm working with another client who literally just wants me to um, reconfigure her um, furniture in two of her rooms in the house yeah. and add a bit of colour and get some cushions and things like that. So, you know, it's, and I love doing all of them. There yeah. is no one. No big or small. There's exactly. no big or small. And I yeah. think that, I don't know, I'm, I'm sure every business works differently, but yeah. I like to keep that variety. Yes. You know, it keeps me sort of really motivated. Likewise. And, and Wow, I'm already feeling inspired. Oh. <laughs> uh, now, you've told us you can work virtually and physically because we've got lots of our subscribers and followers uh, in different parts of the world so they can mm -hmm. get in touch with you um, yes. and you can work virtually with them. The big question is how and where do they get in touch with you? Ah, yes. Okay, so. Um, uh, Tony and Co have a YouTube channel, so yep. it's just at Tony and Co. Yep. Um, T O N I A N D C O. Yep. Um, Instagram, so that handle is at Tony and Co underscore styling underscore production, um, or Facebook. Um, but Instagram is the way to go, or you can absolutely go to the website, tonyandco.com.au. And you'll see all of the work there. There's links to everything. And I guess the thing is, um, there isn't anybody else that you talk to about your project. It's, it's actually me. It's literally Which is me. So good. <laughs> so there's a booking form for um, booking a consultation, sure. or if people decide that they actually want to have a chat to me first, that's okay too. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so all of those different ways you can get in touch with me and um, have a chat about your project, you yes, know. And, sure. I, and I think that's that always um, alleviates any concern, you know. We can talk about um, ideas and costs, you know. Sure. It's, it, I'm, I'm very generous with my, with my time and my information. Yeah. <laughs> really have to love what you do exactly and exactly. you have to gain a lot of enjoyment and I really help I really love helping people do that I love helping people live in their spaces differently and enjoy their home with their people that with the people that live there yep. often their families yep. um, and I guess that's why I do it um, so I really so enjoy doing it all of Tony's uh, details contact details would be there in the description uh, you can scroll down and take a look Tony it's been amazing thank you Samita. thank you so much I know you are so busy especially with this big project the the mega project that's come up uh, but you still made time because I really wanted someone someone amazing like yourself to feature on our International Women's Day vlog. I feel and, very, uh, thank very you honored so and much. humbled. Thank you and goodbye. And share this amazing video. Share it with your friends, family, neighbors, pets, colleagues. Like, comment and subscribe. Stay tuned. More videos coming up your way. Bye for now. Till next time. This is Samita signing off.